Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Today, for the second time, we're going to take a look at the ESR meter. And this time from a slightly different perspective. Before I did the measurements of the cups outside the circuit to basically confirm which ones are good and which ones are bad. Sometimes the capacitance is good, ESR is high. Sometimes capacitance is high, ESR is high and vice versa. But this meter um, claims that it can do in circuit measurements. And I already tested it, yes it can, but it comes with these two tiny probes, right? Alligator clips or crocodile clips, whatever. So how do you measure in circuit S and D uh, polymer cups? Let's see if we can figure it out. Alrighty, so we know how to use ESR meter already. One thing that I didn't show you last time is that once you turn it on, right, uh, you should calibrate it, right? And you calibrate it by touching the, the very end of the clips together, basically making a short and telling the meter that this is our zero, right? But now suppose that you want to use different leads longer ones because you, you want to measure the measure this um capacitors in circuit so let's try slightly longer leads connect them the same way create a shirt and now there's two point three Arms, but it says that leads are too long, cannot calibrate. So, this is our problem. Why are those leads so short? Well, the, the answer can be very complicated, very complex, or very simple. Simple answer is, for the same reason, this cable is short. This is the, the probe from the oscilloscope. And as you can see to the oscilloscope, the coax cable goes into the device. So it doesn't really matter how long this, this is because it's got 50 ohms of uh, wave uh, resistance. But this one needs to be short because if we're using 100 kilohertz on the output of this device, then this basically becomes an antenna. So, the length is relatively important. Uh, I'll have another video explaining some very curious stuff that happens with, within that realm, so stay tuned. But for now, my idea was to do this. I ordered these from eBay, right? Uh, banana plugs with the screw. Um, these are typical for audio um, devices. They're gold plated and create a short cable. And at the end of that cable, what I want is this. This is a needle, uh, needle point uh, probe. And the probes look something like this. As you can see, the, the cables are very short, but they need to be short. As you can see, they're roughly the same size as the, as the previous ones. Right, these. So that, that's what it looks like. So it's still a little bit of a hassle to actually maneuver with short cables like that, but the needle point uh, probes do wonders. So now let's see if I can do it this way. So you can see something. And how do we calibrate it? So first, what I do, I touch one electrode of the capacitor, right, basically making a short at the end of the probes. Wait for it to stabilize, reset and we're at zero. 
and now ESR of this cup is point 16.15 point, point 15 so it's a bit high this needs to be replaced definitely I think this one had uh, a lot higher ESR yeah point 22 point 21 these are all high high ESRs and if you don't believe me let's switch back to the clips the alligators Let's calibrate it again. Zero. And let's get a new polymer cap, which is roughly the same size. This one is uh, 270, and this one is 100, so a little higher capacitance, not a huge difference. And let's get the positive here. And the negative here. And this is what we want to see. Point O. Look, it's going all the way to zero. And it'll go up again. Point o, o, 003, o, o, 004, something like that. So these polymer cups, they have really low, really low ESR. So these showing as point 0.1, point 0.2. That's a huge capacitance. But this board is from 2008, uh, if I remember correctly, from uh, H4 engine Subaru. I think it's either Outback or Crosstrek. Uh, so they're bound to be, you know, degraded significantly. So now, with these leads, it's a lot easier for me to actually poke in the circuit. The other thing that I noticed because before I was trying to do it with these, it's very hard to actually clip, even if you're, because uh, obviously you can't do it with these, right? There's no way to maneuver here. You're gonna touch the, yeah. So another thing that I was doing actually, uh, let me show you that, that's not gonna be very useful, but if you don't have these, that's gonna be something that you can use just to measure, measure these cups. Uh, I just put the, those jumper wires for breadboards right and let's make uh, let's close it here it's 0.5 and it calibrated well 0.01 well roughly calibrated and now let's see this cup again it's obviously a lot harder let's see what it's this gonna say um shows 0.15 and before it was showing 0.22 with these probes so these actually um, perform better because I can always use that that sharp sharp tip to <clears throat> kind of stick them inside the solder making very good connection plus <clears throat> these boards have a <coughs> excuse me have a clear mask on the board so if you just touch it gently there's no connection because it's insulated so that's how you can transform your Messer 100 from a leads that it comes with to a professional <laughs> professional uh, leads for searching uh, or measuring in circuit uh, PCB cups and much more actually you can you can even use this meter for finding shorts um because it's a very precise uh, basically ohm meters uh, ohm meter right so yes you can uh, use it for finding shorts at least i've been told i tried it actually not uh not long ago and based on my measurements this cap was supposed to be shorted desoldered it and the short is still there so that cap was not shorted and i actually measured the cap yeah it wasn't shorted but according to my meter this this cap showed the lowest resistance so i concluded that maybe this one's shorted but it's not so it's not bulletproof but it's definitely better than uh, trying to use regular meter uh, well, you can't really use regular meter 
for short finding unless you have a manual range and that range is like four decibels uh, four decimals um, of the of the measure so basically this right mm, I haven't seen the meter that has uh, a, such a resolution like this one so that's another use for this device all right thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one